Hajime Mashite, and welcome back to Simply Ikiru with me, Elizabeth Voss, your holistic life coach. Today we're going to be cooking. I, for one, enjoy being in the kitchen. I find it relaxing, it's fun for me, I can be creative and let the rest of the world slip away while I'm preparing some crazy dishes. Today's dish won't be crazy, but it will be very good for you. As you can see, we have fresh vegetables. So today's meal will be vegetarian and vegan because as you can see, there are no animal products. I don't have any cow's milk, eggs, or butter. Today, I'll be making a vegetable pot pie with a vegan crust. As I said, vegan means I will not use any animal products. I will not use any milk or eggs with my crust. I'll be using unbleached flour. I do not use bleached flour because yes, it is chemically bleached. I have organic soy milk, I have iodized sea salt, raw sugar, and first cold pressed olive oil. And you can see a beautiful array of colorful vegetables. I have red cabbage and tomatoes. I have ginger, three types of bell peppers. I have celery and kale. What else is down there? Broccoli and cauliflower and some carrots. I love using a variety of colors. Yes, it takes a long time to chop it up. But as I said, I enjoy being in the kitchen. It's a lot of fun. I do not dread it one bit. Even the cleaning up part, I don't dread that at all either. With kale, I enjoy that. And sometimes as a snack, I will get my kale, rinse it off, get it nice and dry, prepare the oven for about 350, 375, spray with some olive oil, and sprinkle a little bit of um, sea salt on it. Bake it until it dries out and you make kale chips, which make a really nice healthy snack. So I will get a bowl and start with the crust. And then after that, I'll get the cutting board out with my favorite knife. Some people think I'm a little bit dangerous because I like that knife a little too much, but it's just fun to use. So then we'll just chop up our vegetables, throw it all together and put it in the oven. Let's get started with the crust. First thing I did was set the oven to 425 degrees. We're gonna take one and a half cups of the flour. We're gonna put a little pinch of salt, maybe about a half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna take two tablespoons of the sugar. You can also use vegan sugar if, you can, if you'd like. And then we're gonna put in the uh, half a cup of oil. If the olive oil is too heavy for you with the smell, I enjoy the smell of olive oil. You can substitute it with grapeseed oil, which is a lighter smell to it and a lighter flavor, but I enjoy the taste of olive oil. Lastly, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the organic soy milk. If you would not want to use the soy milk, you can use two tablespoons of orange juice instead. You want to mix it until it forms a nice ball. So now I'm going to turn it onto a cutting board. I want to roll it out because I'm going to put it into an oblong pan. You can use a nine inch round pie plate, but I'm going to use this oblong pan instead. Now I'm going to take my crust, turn it onto the cutting board that I floured. So now I've put the crust in the bottom of my pan and I'm ready to put it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. So now I'm cutting up my vegetables. I've already done a few and here's my knife I was talking about. It's my favorite. We have a knife block back there, but out of all of them, there's just something about this one that really just does it for me. So I've cut up a little bit of the ginger, cauliflower, broccoli, and I have the rest to do. I've already done some of the kale, and with the kale, you just pull it off of the stem and dice it up. With the ginger, I use some of that for my cooking, but then I also add a little bit in my tea because tea is great for digestion and it just tastes really good. This had another flavor of tea already in it, and I just like to add a little bit of ginger to it. Now that my pan is nice and hot, my olive oil is to temperature, I'm going to start by throwing in the garlic. 
I also want to toss in the onions. I used the red onions, and so it took a little bit to get started with this because they made me tear up a little bit. I'm also going to throw in the celery. The vegetables that take a little bit longer to cook, I put those in first. Besides, the combination of celery with the onions, the smell is so good. I just want to leave these in here for just a few minutes to let them start to sweat, which means they'll get just a little bit softer. A lot of the flavor starts bursting out. And as I said, I don't want my vegetables to cook a long time because I like them to be nice and firm. So I'll go ahead and put in the carrots. Stir that around a little bit. Right now I have it almost up to a medium high heat. Now I'm going to add some red cabbage. Toss that around a little bit. I want to go ahead and add the cauliflower and broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and add the bell peppers. I'm just using the red and the orange because I already have a lot of green in here with the kale and broccoli. Now I'm going to add the kale and the tomatoes. And lastly, the mushrooms. Normally when I make a pot pie, I don't like to use a lot of extra seasonings. I use some salt and pepper, but I don't like to put a lot of anything else because I just enjoy the flavor from the vegetables. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little iodized sea salt. Maybe about a teaspoon of sea salt. And some fresh black pepper. I like to have some kick to it, so I'll add some cayenne. I'm also going to add some flaxseed because it's a great source of omega-3. Toss that around and we'll let this cook for about five to ten minutes. I've been letting the vegetables cook for about five minutes. So it's helping to bring out some of the juice from the vegetables. So in a separate bowl I have a little bit of water with my unbleached flour because I want a little bit of a gravy to this. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. And as you put this water in here, it helps to deglaze all the goodness that is on the bottom of the pan. The pan isn't hot, so I can hold it like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and ladle all these vegetables on top. When I made the crust, I had enough for the bottom. And of course, there's quite a bit left over for the top. So I could just use my fingers and just put some right on top. So now I put some of the crust on top of the pot pie and I'll put it in the oven for about another 15 minutes because it didn't take that long for the bottom crust. Everything's already cooked. It just needs for that crust to brown on top. Whew. That was quite a bit of work, cutting up all the vegetables, preparing the tea, making the crust. Actually, it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. 
Sometimes in life, the things that we want are the same way. We set on on a certain journey to achieve a goal, and once we're on that path, we think, this is a great idea, but things come along, and you realize, this is a little bit more challenging than I thought, but if you keep the goal in mind, all the hard work is definitely worth it. So here I am with my vegetarian vegan crust pot pie and a pot of hot tea with some ginger in it. So I already scooped up a little bit of the pot pie into my bowl because it was already very hot. So I just want to try a little bit of it. And I can see the carrots, I can see some kale. As I said, I did not want to cook my vegetables for a long time because I don't want them to become mushy. That's pretty nice. I don't have a lot of salt and pepper in it. I can definitely get the kick from the cayenne. The tea is very nice with a hint of ginger and I know that's all helping my digestion. It has been my great pleasure to prepare this meal for you. As I said, it's, it was a lot of hard work. I totally enjoy it. Being in the kitchen is my favorite place to be. It's very relaxing and as one of the best chefs that I ever watched on television, whose name is Jeff Smith, also known as the Frugal Gourmet, every time he ended his program, he always said, I bid you peace. That is why in my videos, I always say, Ite kimasu, and I bid you peace. Hajime mashite, and blah, 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 blah. Tain any butter or eggs. So I'm going to get my cutting board and we're going to start making uh, because, uh, the, there's a lot of nutrients in it, a lot of good vitamins in it and today I'll be making Now I'm chopping up my vegetables and one of the ones that I did so now I'm today we're going to make 